Welcome back. Welcome back indeed. Today's video is straight out of the Twilight Zone. Although I've never had a personal encounter with a so-called Bigfoot or a Dogman, Rake or any type of cryptid, I'm more than open-minded to the possibility that some type of animal has been missed by mainstream science, whether it be a forest dweller like a Bigfoot, ground or sewer dweller like a Rake, interdimensional being, creatures purposely left to be observed by intelligent craft visiting Earth like say the Chupacabra or the Mothman. Well today we got some type of a cryptid, whereas other people have been calling it a Bigfoot or a Dogman. Well, whatever this thing is, this thing has been stalking a farmer's land, terrorising his home, eating his livestock, and this farmer only even catches this thing on camera running across his rooftop. Big claims, but with great evidence to back his story up. Now this isn't just a couple of videos uploaded to YouTube titled Bigfoot or Dogman, in fact I don't think he even uses those words once. He really has no idea what he's dealing with either. His channel which goes by the name of Foul Mitten, he's bought his channel based on hunting, fishing, outdoors activities, survival skills and so forth. And out of his massive collection on his channel there's only a couple of videos where he's documenting these strange accounts of this creature, terrorising his land and his home that have only recently been a new addition to his normal content. These encounters have emerged out of the blue so he's documenting these events as evidence for himself, his viewers and for the authorities. And he was even advised by the Federal Fish and Wildlife not to shoot this creature or he could possibly be facing a prison sentence. We should be thankful that he is documenting this because this is beyond strange. During my stay in the hospital I use the time to watch everything that this guy has uploaded and I've even been looking out for updates and I'm convinced, well I know that these events are legit so they belong here on the channel. So unless you take the time to study an individual's background and not judge from a couple of clips that you're about to see, you would have to be arrogant to say that this guy's cries for help are fake, staged or scripted based on a couple of minutes of footage that you're about to see. So let's take a look at some of the things that he's been capturing and these are in no particular order. He just woke me up again and uh, said she heard it on the roof and this time so did I so I'm gonna get out there and have a look. Get the other side. Oh, damn. Holy sh All right. Some of bitches went on the other side of the house. Oh. Where'd it go? What is that? What the son of a... What's going on here? Oh my God. So some people have been calling this a Bigfoot or a Dogman. Bigfoot? I don't think so. Dogman possibly. But in this footage, this thing has got a cone-shaped head or an egg-shaped, I can't quite decide, which leads me to believe we could be looking at some kind of an alien. It looks insectoid and those piercing eyes have got to be a couple of inches apart. Could we be looking at evidence of the Mothman? How did it get up on the roof and where did it vanish to? Now let's address the deer carcass. How did that get up on the roof? This thing wasn't feeding on the roof. This carcass had been stripped of any meat and tissue a long time ago with just skeletal remains. I've been pondering the idea. Could this be an offering? This thing seems just as curious to the farmer as the farmer is of it. I feel it could be intelligent enough to know that a human is just as intelligent and they could work together as this thing knows how good of an opportunity this land is to its well-being. There hasn't really been any acts of aggression from this creature as of yet, although the farmer has fired warning shots and shot at the creature. It just seems to be stalking the land, stalking the home and the farmer. Let's see some more. All over the damn place again tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna keep walking towards it. Might actually get to capture something here. Son of a bitch.
All right, whatever you are, you need to leave. Stay out of this place. This is our home. This is our home. You need to leave. You leave now. for a while. Oh God. I hope that does it. Really do. This eye shine picked up on camera for me at least proves that what we are looking at is a real nocturnal animal. Humans don't have this eye shine. We lack the tapetum lucidum. The tapetum lucidum is between the lens and the retina that acts as a reflective membrane and is responsible for the eye shine characteristics of many nocturnal mammals. The tapetum lucidum enhances visual sensitivity under low light conditions. And I forgot to mention earlier that the Federal Fish and Wildlife also suggested that what he's been encountering could be some type of an upright canine or large raccoon. The hell is that? Well, we heard it again last night, and sure as come out this morning, chicken coop doors ripped right off, feathers all over the place. I guess it's back. So uh, I'm going to go out and have a listen for it tonight, see if we can find it. God, this just pisses me off. Now I'm thinking, is this really an alien creature? Aliens eating chickens, but if it's in a flesh and blood body, it has to eat, right? We would have to eat, sleep, and she eat like the rest of us. The more that this story went on, the more I was leaning towards this being some sort of a dog man or a werewolf creature. Well, they're leaving for the night. Damn thing was on the porch. So, uh, yeah, guess it's just going to be me here tonight. <laughs> and uh, the Federal Fish and Wildlife are out here uh, earlier today, and they, uh, I showed them the footage, and they said uh, if I kill it, I could be looking at prison time. But yet they won't investigate what it is. I'm going to shut off the porch lights, and I'm going to sit out here. It's been about an hour, and uh, I definitely hear it. There it is. If I can get a clear shot. You get a clear shot. I'm shooting it. Can't go to prison for something that's not supposed to exist, right? So I don't know what you think to this, but I think that this is pretty credible and this is only a snippet of what's been going on. I've just shown you the best bits. God, it feels good to be back on the channel and I hope you feel the same. Although my voice isn't what it was, but it is getting stronger. Look out for that next notification, which will most likely be a compilation of UFO sightings. I got so much to show and I don't know which direction I'm going in next, but the next video, I will be focusing on UFO sightings. So don't go anywhere, stay tuned and I will catch you soon.